Well, so let's start maybe with the basics. Who is the SBA and like what is SBA borrowing? Like if I go get an SBA loan, what, who is the SBA and then what do I what if, what do I need an SBA loan for? Yeah, so you just want to think of the the SBA is a government agency that sits behind a bank and provides a percentage guarantee to the loans that the bank makes within their program. So usually it's 75% guaranteed, so it means that there's a lot less risk when the bank uses the SBA to guarantee a por portion of the loan. But then we have to follow all their rules. Um, so the SBA has a couple of different programs. You know, it, it very simply, it's either the 7A program where you could use it for a lot of different things, um, business acquisition, working capital and real estate. And then it also has the 504 program where you can really only use it for real estate, owner occupied real estate, I should say, commercial mm -hmm. owner occupied real estate. Um, and uh, sometimes uh, equipment with long useful life. But generally speaking, think of 504 for fixed rate, commercial real estate, 7A kind of for everything else. Got it. So if I want to go say there's an owner retiring of an HVAC business or a some an agency or a janitorial services business and I want to go buy that business at some multiple of earnings, I could you and I don't have a ton of assets to to back it, right? Because I'm potentially not a bankable bankable person early in my career. The the SBA loan is kind of what I go after. Is it is that the target market for it, or is it broader than what I just described? Uh, it's broader than that, but certainly that is a hot spot within the SBA world right now um, because there are so many companies that are transitioning and uh, buyers that need leverage. So the way to think of the advantage of the SBA loan there is that you're going to get more leverage than you would with a conventional loan, you know, so you d definitely more leverage. Uh, you're going to be required to present less collateral. And, and I do want to touch on that for a second, because when you talk to SBA lenders, you're going to find that they fall into one of two categories in terms of their credit appetite. And that is they're either a cash flow lender or they're a collateral lender. So a cash flow lender is not concerned about collateral. They're concerned about the deal structure, the cash flow coverage historically, um, just the quality and the durability of the earnings of the company, you know, all of those types of risks they're going to underwrite really hard. An asset or a collateral lender is a is an SBA bank that's doing primarily real estate loans. And anytime they try to do something outside of real estate, the first question they're going to ask you is, what kind of collateral do you have? Uh, how much equity is in your house? Um, if you're doing a leveraged buyout of a small company, you do not want to go with a collateral lender. It's just not going to work. You're never going to have enough or almost never going to have enough collateral to satisfy them. And they're going to perceive the risk completely differently. And they're going to underwrite it completely differently because they're thinking collateral. What if this goes bad? What do I liquidate? So a cash flow lender is where you want to be when you're doing those leveraged buyouts. But in general, what you're asking is, you know, when do I when do I need an SBA loan versus not? The simple answer is if you're if you're a company or you're buying a company with less than 1.75 million of EBITDA, almost every company under that size is going to very likely rely on SBA funding. There are not a lot of um, conventional programs out there for for small companies outside of SBA. 